Hey guys, you're talking about great scientists that have actually inspired anatomy in one way or the other. Today we'll be talking about Marcelo Malpighi. Marcelo Malpighi. Alright, so our focus today is for us to talk about the biography of Marcelo Malpighi and his contribution to science and in this context is actually talking about histology. Okay, so the contributions of Marcelo Malpighi to histology. And on our screen is the picture of uh, Marcelo Malpighi. All right. So Marcelo Malpighi, who lived between um, 1628 to 19 uh, to 1694, was an Italian biologist and physician. Okay, who is referred to uh, uh, as the founder of microscopical anatomy. Okay, he's referred to as the founder of microscopical anatomy histology and father of physiology and embryology all right so this is great this would let you know that he did so much um research in um, histology also research in physiology and research in embryology okay so he discovered capillaries in animals and insects and the link between arteries and veins okay that had eluded williams harvey okay so link between arteries and veins were not really um, understood, okay? You know all those um, uh, veins turn into venules, then into arterials, okay, then into arteries and all that, okay? So um, Marcelo Malpighi was one of the earliest people to observe red blood cells under a mi mi my microscope after Jan Swamadam, okay? So this is Marcelo Malpighi grazing our screens. Right, it's a good man. So his treatise, um, he, his treatise, the Polio Codis, okay, that's his book, was important for understanding blood composition as well as how blood clots. Now, Marcelo Malpighi also studied the anatomy of brain and concluded that the organ is a gland. Okay, now because Marcelo Malpighi had a wide knowledge of both plants and animals. He made contributions to the scientific studies of both plants and animals. All right. So the Royal Society of London published two volumes of his botanical and zoological works in 1675 and 1679. Okay. So this is Marcelo Malpighi again. And in his hands, you could see a skull. Right. You could see a human skull there. Now, histology was a very active field of the biological research in the 19th century. Now, improvements in microscope constructions and the introduction of staining procedures led to the rise of the field of physiology, pioneered by Marcelo Malpighi and Bischart. All right. So, Marcelo Malpighi is sometimes called the father of microscopic anatomy. All right. That's basically observing of all these um, tissues and everything, okay, using the microscope. Um, he used a primitive microscope, okay, and he was the first to describe pulmonary alveoli, capillaries, renal corpuscles, splenic corpuscles, and the malpigian layer of the skin, all right? Um, he used simple microscope to discover the structures of the lungs and also circulation of blood through tiny capillaries, okay? Now, after studying plant anatomy, Mouth Piggy extended Harvey's premise, okay, that almost and um, almost all animals, even those that vivi paros and man himself, are produced from eggs. Okay, he further confirmed that almost all animals and even man himself are produced from eggs. Okay, so this was a great one from um, Marcelo Malpighi, right, and he did a whole lot of research. Let's recap again, okay. He described pulmonary alveoli, capillaries, renal corpuscles, splenic corpuscles, and the malpigian layer of the skin, okay? He also discovered uh, the structure of the lungs and also circulation of blood through tiny capillaries, okay? And also after studying plants and everything, he concluded that man and almost every other animal is actually produced from eggs, okay? So that's a note about the, uh, yeah.
he should this is this should be an italian name okay this, this is a note about the italian scientist marcello malpighi yeah italian okay and his discoveries in the science of histology okay so this is it for this i'll see you guys in the next era bye for now